Hi there, sign of Taurus. Hope you guys are doing really well out there today. Thank you for joining me. I'm Kim. I'm here to do your reading and we are just going to go ahead and start with the shaman's dream. Let's pull from this first. I do have a new deck to clarify with. It has been eerily accurate with my own readings, like my personal reading with myself. So yeah, stick around for that. It's called 108. 108, water carrier, generosity, alleviate suffering, care for others, humane. Beautiful. That's the deck. All right, so we're going to start with the shaman's dream. Connect with me at this divine white light that goes through chakras, grounding you, also going up to the sky. Calling in all angels here and my spirit guides, of course, to guide this reading Taurus. Collective Taurus. Whale song resonating, and there's music notes on this with the will. Mm. 36, lost in space, needing direction. Well, wherever you're going, <laughs> you're going to find direction. I have spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. So it's kind of, isn't it? Isn't it like you're resonating with this, with feeling this way? Um, like, like you don't know where you're going, but this lost in space isn't coming. Um, it's not coming across to me as a card saying like, hey, buddy, you're off track. No, it's like saying you don't really know where you're going. Um, you will need direction. And so you're going towards adventure you're being told to listen to your intuition and go where you feel good. Go where your soul and body resonate the most, feeling relaxed and comfortable, maybe sometimes excited feeling. But there's something about that, like lost in space. I'm almost ignoring the needing direction part because <clears throat> cause your soul knows the direction and your movement is towards adventure. Hmm. Let's do let's do a few more. I love this deck. I absolutely love this deck. So you're resonating resonating with someone someone, something. Look at all this blue. We have this beautiful blue color, this like um spiritual healing, and I was picking up specifically where you feel calm. Calm waters. Um, and then the humanitarian part is coming out with this dragon sword protecting the future. Like, uh, so doing things with the intent that you're protecting those that you love, those around you. Oh, you're somebody's muse. could literally be somebody's muse <laughs> joyful muse inspiration um again with the letting your maybe it's metaphorical letting your song letting the music decide for you <laughs> letting the feeling decide for you about where you're wanting to go next and, and it doesn't have to be like physically. It could be like, what direction are you going to go? Uh, maybe branching out different areas of career, looks, anything, anything. The way you take care of yourself, the way you accept all parts of yourself, the root girl, even those parts that had maybe um, we had shamed before, or somebody had shamed for us. And then I have this stranger card, Curiosity. So not only are you um, somebody's muse, but roles could be reversed too. Somebody could be your muse that you're looking at too a lot, right? But, um, or have a lot of curiosity about. There's movement towards adventure, maybe even towards a stranger 
curiosity. Maybe even towards a stranger. It's a new soul contract. This one, um, maybe you're healing things or mending things enough to say I accept the experience. But the contract's up, so let's go. And then here's your jeweled web. You're connected. Your universe is your partner. The universe is your partner. Okay. Interesting. So somebody's taking an interest in you. You feel like you need direction. And we have this joyful muse. A beautiful card to get. You are somebody's muse. You do something that inspires another person um, to do something too. Maybe it has to do with like a humanitarian effort. <clears throat> You know, helping a certain cause, advocating for a certain cause, or having somebody that uh, understands like a political standpoint or view that you might have. It's something really tangible here. Look, I can. This uh, resonance feeling, resonating. Tell me more about, about this using um, the tarot. And we have master number 33, so it, may, it might be very similar to like a teacher, being a teacher or, or being the master teacher. We well, just had deja vu with your reading. That was interesting. Ooh, two aces in the reverse. Is that the changing of contracts? Hmm. Two aces in the reverse. And normally I would say that this is dealing with something from the past or that you're about to have more information. Be alert. There's going to be more information. Like you may, may about to have an epiphany moment, channeling information that's just not come in quite yet. Maybe. This feels like it's something that you're dealing with from the past. The ace of fire in reverse. And then I have the Ten of Water in between the stranger and the movement towards adventure. Because it's going to mark like some kind of big completion for you. There could be a completion that you are going to have with a total stranger that you just feel like you resonate with. It would be because maybe you planned this, which is this is a long time happiness, finding emotional satisfaction, fulfillment. We're going to find out more, though, here about these two, these two aces. What else can you give us on why is there two aces in the reverse here? What is this about? The eight of Earth. It's about the what's not working for you on the practical day-to-day -day stuff. What is it that's not working out? It feels like that's coming to the surface and they're saying not to be with the sun in reverse, not to be in denial about whatever it is um, from the past that could be possibly holding back an opportunity for something new for you. It can also be that these opportunities really have not, like I said before, like something is going to come and it just hasn't been, maybe the path hasn't been lit up yet, or I don't know, something about this has just hasn't shown itself yet. Maybe something to do with work or changing direction regarding work, something that you resonate more with or feel like you enjoy more doing more, right? Oh, yeah having more freedom with whatever it is that you do balloons fun freedom high vibe relief rising up ascension aspirations success joyful a higher perspective cheerful attaining goals stress-free independence and let go oh goodness and then look what's what here okay so for some okay this is about this embracing this free something kind of new adventure right and this one says it's like the three of swords 
broken heart, heart, Jack and Diane, broken heart, heartbreak, interference, sorrow, grief, a funk, sadness. You have literally fun and sadness right next to each other. A letdown, gloomy, hurt, bitter, or emotional pain. Possibly this might be what has stopped these two aces from coming in, like in the upright, full upright. Another two, there's partnership coming in, especially with this stranger card, and now you have the number two. Um, yeah, and um, this is really big. Okay, so... Soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, dating, attraction, seduce, long-term potential, display of affection, charm, the it factor, two of a kind, alluring, and the je ne sais quoi. That certain person has a je ne sais quoi for you. I feel like it's this um, stranger. Somebody just had, does it. You you might be the person that they're like, this person has the it factor. Like they might be looking at you like that. Ooh, kerosene. You're nothing but gasoline. Aggressive, accelerate, ignite. Propel, hot situation. The hot situation. Hmm, the sap, the wealth. Energy, roots, abundant, physical, it's life force. It's it's um, a resonance with the energy of love that gives you life force, that adds to your wealth. Whatever it is here in the in the current moment with the eight of earth being in the reverse, and now the seven of it's not really swords, but seven in Aquarius energy, optical illusion, not what it seems, mirage. Hocus Pocus, projection, or predictive programming. I think it has to do with work. I feel like it has to do with work. Something is uncertain. It says that at this time, the situation or outcome is undetermined. And then a number, another two. Dice, gamble, taking a risk, luck, playing games. Chances are, roll with it within the next few days. Potential fate or like what happens next? Or what happens next? Okay, interesting. It just got really interesting. So, coming out of denial of some kind of illusion of something that is not what it seems or is not what you're wanting. It's a lot of work. Look at the kerosene, toil and labor. A lot of work. Expectation. Gift. The gift is from the universe. So that's a new opportunity. It could be an actual gift that's being given to you. Expectation. What are you expecting? Message of concern. And then I have Journey here with 10. Secrets, the book, Secrets. False person, somebody not who they say they are, revealing themselves doesn't have to be in a bad way. It could be the stranger. Or it could be that you feel like you know somebody's intentions. I have great fortune. With the gift, great fortune too. Heart and prison. So it's about letting go of this feeling trapped feeling. Letting go of feeling like somebody's trapped your heart. 
You'll be at a crossroads soon. This is like the lover's energy, crossroads 22, saying that you're going to have a choice. <sighs> Wealth on the very bottom of the deck too. Wow. So you're going to have a choice here that opens up for you at this crossroads. You have high vibe energies and you're also still dealing with things from the past that you're letting go of. There's definitely some kind of illusion about whether or not you're enjoying your work or what it is that you, something to do with what you do for work, what you're doing on that day to day. And is that what you're, is that what you like? You know, something like that. Hmm. Lost in space, needing direction. What direction are you trying to um, <clears throat> let Taurus know about? Discipline, order, and the magician freeing yourself from this prison. It's freeing yourself. With, is there something to do with wealth? And, and it's got a very strong tie to heart energy, too, here. The Ten of Wands. If, if, like, if somebody's expecting you to do everything well, the everything fine is in the reverse. So you can't continue like that. But you do have a completion here with something there's just um there's an energy that you're not going to move forward towards or with um because you're having a rebirth in that area of your life so any area where you were giving way too much of yourself overextending yourself causing yourself to burn out while somebody else wasn't like that it feels like that is over with yeah okay and what is coming in is the star you your uh energy of being in the limelight um some of you could get like be on media or get some kind of fame or recognition from that it can mean that the stars are lining for you yeah there's something new that you're going to be doing here on the practical day-to-day -day. eight of pentacles for work and letting go of the past things that you don't feel inspired by that you're not seeing a sign about moving forward is because a rebirth is occurring in that area of your life and you're definitely letting go of clinging to the past energies magician you can do anything that you want so buckle down with the discipline a little bit you're gonna have choices just look the ten of cups is in the 10 10 and then that's a ten of swords type energy so you have major completions you had the Ten of Cups twice pop out in your reading. So you have a major completion on um, an emotional level here, too, uh, where you'll reach satisfaction. You'll reach that uh, fairy tale kind of feeling, right? Let's get you some angel cards. Two. Let's see what angels want to give you a message. Lady Gaia, nice. Let's see the other one. So you, you really could be processing a lot of emotions right now, I would say. But like you're on your you're on your rise with the star. You're on your way to a rise to a better, more high vibe time than what you've been through. Um this will come to a completion, the thing that you're maybe still attached to. Just have faith, Archangel Faith. With faith, you are invincible. Believe in yourself. With faith, you are invincible. Believe in yourself. Archangel Michael, stand in your power. Be true to yourself. Stand in your power and be true to yourself. Archangel Muriel, trust your own wisdom. Have faith in your psychic impressions. Archangel Uriel, come into harmony and balance and use your power for peace. Archangel Haniel, seek soul satisfaction and fan a flame of inner happiness. Okay, and let's use the Ask the Angels deck. <laughs> Remain positive. Helpful people, and we saw ask for help from others. 
something not the right time and then choose a new direction the same as that uh, needing direction finding direction and then the, <laughs> remain positive what is not the right time inventor technology groundbreaking okay to fail first doing it again and again inspired ideas setting trends mastermind and the modern era so it's about maybe something that you're inventing like giving it a first try and then for some reason something happens with that first try it's okay that's that step into your success right yeah checkered flag conclusion outcome final chapter the end finishing first feeling relieved crystal ball intuition premonition seeing clearly discernment perception sixth sense instinct divination future planning esp past present future gut reaction and inner knowing the crystal ball yeah so that's what i've got for you taurus what a beautiful reading if you need a private reading i offer those check out the description box below i can use that now more than ever thank you for super chats too i'm sending you lots of love bye